and hello guys uh, in the previous video we looked at uh, programming the raspberry pi pico using micro python and uh, we also saw the usage of the timer on board the pi pico so in this video uh, we will go through the process of programming the raspberry pi pico using circuit python so i have provided the firmware for circuit python also in this git Alternatively, you can download the EUF2 file from CircuitPython's official website. Okay, so once you are done downloading the EUF2 file, press and hold the boot select push button on your Pi Pico and then insert the USB cable. So now the rpi2-rp2 folder should show up. Copy the CircuitPython firmware that you just downloaded onto this directory. So immediately your PyPico should reboot and you should have a folder or a directory that says circuit pi. Okay, so this is the circuit python directory on which uh, we'll be writing the scripts. So for programming the PyPico using circuit python will be using a software called mu or mu editor. So you can download a copy of the software from this web page. I will leave the links for this web page in the description of this video. Okay. So I will not go through the installation process of the software, it is pretty much straightforward. So once you have uh, installed the software, launch the software and then press on the serial button or option. Importing the onboard pins is slightly different from the micro python. In micro python we used import machine, here it is import board okay and then in micro python the time was u time here it is just import time okay so and then we also got to import other functions from digital io import digital in out and then direction okay so now led is equal to digital in out of the pin so as you can see the prompt over here the command is digital in out and then followed by the pin so you can use the onboard led as just led or else you can use gp25 so if you can recall uh, in micro python we just used the pin number without uh, prefixing gp whereas with circuit python we need to prefix gp okay so and then we need to set the led direction so the command is led dot direction equal to direction dot output okay so this will set the led pin as an output pin if you can recall in micro python we performed uh, these two declarations in a single line and over here it is slightly different okay so and then while true led dot value equal to true and then time dot sleep 0 0.5 and then led dot value equal to false and then time dot sleep is again 0 0.5 seconds okay so now with this uh, the led should blink every half a second that is the led will uh, turn on for half a second and turn off for the remaining half a second click on save and then save this script as main.py in the circuitpy directory or folder
So as we can see now, the LED is turning on and off every 0 0.5 seconds. You can enter the repel mode by pressing on Ctrl and C and then press enter to repel. Okay. See if you have any doubts about the naming conventions for GPIO type import board over here and then type dir open brackets board and then close brackets and press enter. So now uh, you should have an idea of the naming conventions for the different GPIO pins of the Pi Pico. Okay. So instead of using the time dot sleep multiple times, what you can do is you can create your own function over here. This is define toggle. This is because um, the circuit python does not have the toggle functionality like the micro python. So some of the features from micro python have been stripped off that is missing over here in circuit python. If pin is true, pin dot value equal to false. Else, pin dot value equal to true. So instead of now two sleep commands, you can remove these parts and then change this to to toggle of LED. This should be the same uh, as what we have got over here. Okay. So now observe what happens when we run this code. I have added uh, this example what we just now saw uh, in onto the GitHub page. You can take a look at it and then play around and get a grip of Circuit Python on Raspberry Pi Pico. Okay, so I really hope that you find this video useful and informative. See you guys again in the next video.